How much can you earn in tech in the UK? Welcome to Demystifying Tech, a special video series brought to you by Durham University and the Tech Up Women program. I am Alexandra Krista, professor in computer science and Tech Up co-lead. And today we shall be talking about how much you can earn in tech in the UK. In the UK, what do you think low or high pay actually means? How do we know what everybody else is earning? Do you think that people who work in tech are high earners? I thought, yes. But then, which of the tech jobs attracts the best salaries? In the next few minutes, we are going to share some information about the types of jobs that you can get in tech in the UK uh, with a true and accurate figure for their salaries. I must admit, I learned a lot from this as well. Spoiler. We're going to list a few tech jobs with typical salaries of one and a half to twice the national average. So what type of tech job earns the most and how do you find out just how much they earn? A lot of places want to tell you how much you can earn in tech in the UK, but how valid are they? Yes, you can look at recruitment agency estimates, but don't forget that this comes from salaries that people have entered in order to access a website. Are they always accurate? The other place is uh, in job adverts. This gives you a more precise idea of a starting salary range for a specific position, but may not give you an idea of how an individual's salary can climb once they are inside an organization. Experience counts for a lot in tech careers. In addition, tech salaries offered by organizations in the UK can vary significantly based on factors like location and business type. One thing to note is that working for a specialist software company may yield higher salaries than working within the IT department for a company whose primary business is not IT. So initially, we've chosen to take the information straight from the source, the Office for National Statistics. Every year, the Office of National Statistics, ONS, takes a census of 1% of the employee pay records and determines the spread of pay in the UK. And for those of you thinking of working in the tech sector, the news is pretty good. You need to know that the median midpoint average full-time UK salary in 2023 was 35,464. You also need to know that a high earner is someone who earns 1.5 times the median salary. It's important to note here that there are gender factors uh, and geography factors in play too. Uh, so the median pay for northern women will be lower than for southern men. In the census report, the proportion of employees categorized as high paid uh, were most represented in managerial and professional occupations with 50% and 48% respectively. Those working in the information and communication industry or the finance and insurance industry, 43 and 50% respectively. Workers aged between 40 and 44 years, 32%. Or those working in London, 40%. So we can see that of the criteria that you can control because you can't change your age and may not want to live in London, where you'd have to factor in the high cost of living anyway. So if you want to have high pay, then working in the information and communication industry is a good choice. Let's drill down now and get some detail to find out which of the tech jobs earns what. We'll group them together starting with the lower earners. You'll realize that age and therefore experience is a factor in salary. So it could be that some of the lower earning IT jobs are more career start type of jobs. Categorizing any job is always going to differ. So for this section, we'll use the titles that are used in the census for IT jobs. Slightly below median earnings. IT operation technicians, 31,141. IT user support technicians, 32,354. Data analysts, 33,174. Database administration and web content technicians, 31,500. Above median earnings. IT quality and testing professionals, 39,914. Web design professionals, 41,288. IT network professionals, 42,841. Cybersecurity professionals, 45,294. Way above median earnings. IT managers, 50,880. IT business analysts, architects, and system designers, 51,698. IT project managers, 51,933. IT directors, 80,000. 
next, these figures are the accurate median figures from random sampling of the Office for National Statistics Census. Let's also have a quick look at the current figures from Glassdoor and Indeed, using some job titles which may be familiar to you. DevOps engineer role salary. Glassdoor, 54,008. Indeed, 62,076. Cloud engineer's role salary. Glassdoor, 52,746. Indeed, 54,943. Software developer's salary. Glassdoor, 53,177. Indeed, 46,942. And just for fun, which non-management tech role do Glassdoor, Indeed, and the National Office for Statistics all agree attracts the highest salary in the UK? It's the role of software architect with median salary represented as Glassdoor, 77,664, Indeed, 72,938, and Office of National Statistics, 51,698. One final thought about pursuing the tech career of your dreams. It may be important to know that working in tech for the public sector may generally mean a lower salary, but it may also mean more security, better pension, better terms and conditions, clear career progression, and the knowledge that you are contributing directly to society. Working in tech has the potential to wield a lot of power, presenting some wonderful opportunities to contribute to society in both the public and the private sector. Don't forget that with tech, the sky is your limit, both in terms of earnings and fulfillment. The ONS figures that we've discussed here are based on employees' salaries, so they don't include individuals who work as highly skilled and therefore highly paid contractors or run their own businesses. This option might give you the flexibility to be as successful, creative and productive as you choose to be. Or you may want to follow on the learning path towards a career in academia, where there are many other benefits. Or you may wish for the flexibility a tech career gives you in terms of mobility and options. If you want to know more about pay in the UK, you could go to the Office of National Statistics. Um, but a very informative website, www.figures.hr, also gives an easy to access explanation of the current situation. At Tech Up Women, we have many more interesting demystifying tech videos coming up. If you like this video, why not like and share and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out when our new videos go live. Stay tuned for more videos in this series as we explore the exciting world of tech. Thank you for watching.